This case study from Hans Mill Primary School focuses on communication and language and personal, social and emotional development. So this particular child that I'm going to speak about has not achieved GLD at the end of the reception year but has made so much positive progress throughout the course of the year. Speaking was the main focus for him um, and modelling that um, appropriate vocab consistently and significantly across the year. We used a lot of the Nelly intervention that really supported this particular boy to increase his day-to-day -day vocab. We could see the impact that that intervention was having on a weekly basis. Can you give me any examples of how his language has increased or what he's now able to say to other children or adults? So his clarity has improved. He can now use short phrases to communicate with other children and other adults, such as come here or look over there, which has increased from just single words that we started with. We use lots of singing and rhyme, so we use that to make sure that we were exposing him to lots of language, especially lots of uh, songs that have repetitive phrases in. We use the poetry book A Great Big Cuddle to use those different poems to allow him to use that repetition and that language consistently. And it allowed him to recall it because it was being repeated so much and he would then apply that language. One particular example is when we use the gingerbread man, he really enjoyed that story and got into character a lot and we noticed one day that he was using the bikes when riding to chase other children and he was going tee hee hee hee, I can't catch you because he knows that vocab from the stories that we've done and applied that. Yeah and that supported him in that interaction with those children, that's, that's really okay. nice. What makes you confident in your judgement that he hasn't met the early learning goal? So this particular child has made so much positive progress throughout the year but there's just a few elements that we felt that he hadn't achieved. So he was very comfortable in small group but struggled a little bit more in larger groups and most definitely outside of the classroom. He is able to use the vocab that we've developed so much over the course of the year but often not matching his language to what's being asked of him by the adults around him. So for example if we've asked him a question about what are you doing he would often not reply with something that links so we didn't have enough of him replying and um, back and forth with confidence and accuracy really so we felt that didn't really meet the expected level of development for communication and language. You've kind of touched on a bit of his relationships with the children in the classroom. Could you tell me a little bit more about how what his relationships are like with children and adults? Um, so across the year he's used what adults have modelled and how to do that in the environment. Ask children to do it, not tell children to do certain things. Um, and that's really come from not just the support he's had in school, but also the parental support that he's had at home with his family. He does lots of board games, lots of turn taking. So that skill is really interlinked between home and school, which is a massive part of the early years development. Tell me a little bit more about how he manages himself. He's a natural independent person who wants to do everything by himself. He has lots of good coordination linked to physical development so he's able to do lots of things independently in terms of put his coat on, he can zip his coat up by himself, he can put his shoes on the right feet, he can get changed for PE with ease undoing the buttons on his top. He's very independent in the way he dresses himself but also in terms of uh, rolling snack which we do every day in our classroom he's able to come and choose his snack and make that choice independently as well as um, wash up his dishes afterwards and use the correct skills to make his own snack um, and often comments on the things that we're having for snacks so it could be whether we're having milk to drink or we're having fruit for our snack he can comment on those things that are good choices and things that we know we should have to make our body stronger. So what should the year one team do in terms of supporting this child's development further? The Team One team should make sure that everything that's been put in place in reception is carried over into Year One to ensure that this particular boy gets those activities and gets those interventions that he needs to support his development further. This child is emerging for communication and language and meeting the level of development expected for all the personal, social and emotional development goals discussed.